Good morning, everybody. Hey, I'm sorry it is a little bit after 10 and I just actually finished um, cleaning up my little workspace for a second. Um, and uh, super glad that you guys are joining. Hi, my name is Eileen and I own Jane Nicole Designs. And today we are going to be doing um, some Easter stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna let you know, um, I, I'm not going to do as much today, which it may take a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but welcome uh, for, and joining me for um, this little segment of my Easter I'm getting ready for. In the back, you see, I found at the thrift store uh, a couple bunnies, and um, it, Easter is one of my favorite, favorite times of year. So um, I know every holiday is my favorite, so it's one of those where I kind of feel like, you know, I'm going to tell you that every time but anyway we are going to be making a few easter things and uh, the facebook live a couple weeks ago we had talked about um doing some uh bunnies and this right here is our little bunny we i just made it out of um this is chipboard and i cut it out on my cricut and this is one of those where uh, Design Space has this. So, you, you know, you can get it off of uh, Design Space if you're a Cricut owner. Good morning, Joy, it's good to see you. You're here. Um, so I just cut two of those out. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some uh, just uh, twine kind of thing. This is the macrame uh, cording. And then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, uh, fabric. I just have a, a just an old piece of fabric that I had laying around. And then we're going to um, glue that all together. So that was the project that we did a couple weeks ago and I just didn't get time to it. But here's the she bunny and then we're gonna make a he bunny and um, we're gonna be doing that today. But first of all, I uh, was looking for some things about Easter and I came across some really cool ideas for um, place setting napkin holders. And so we're gonna start out with that and then, um, then, we're, gonna, then we're gonna do the coasters for the bunny. So come along with me. This is gonna be our first one. See how the little ears, I'm gonna take this off here. This back. But this is the first one we're going to be making and this is ribbon and a little bit of jute twine. These are the little um, wooden beads and then this is kind of super soft. It's um, velvety uh, ribbon. We're going to make that one first and then so you know where we're going. This right here is the second one. This is a um, wooden beads and good morning. Hey. Good to see Ron and Jan. Um, this is gonna be the second one we're gonna be making. And this is just a carrot and we've got some raffia we're gonna look at. Um, we're gonna uh, do a little bit of um, bow action here. And I got so most of this bows and things like that um, from other projects. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little tip and trick on how to, um, how to be able to use or reuse ribbons. So, uh, let's go here. So th the first thing I'm going to do is uh, when I saw this, I was like, okay, what can I use that I already have, have had in my stash? Um, what am I going to be able to use? And so I went and picked up, I have jute that I've had for this roll I got at a hardware store and I picked it up probably like five or six years ago and it was a big huge roll and I've been using it for you know like I said five six years and so I recommend it's a little um little bit thicker than um like a, a thin cording but um I think this will be our our good good foundation the next thing I did is I, I have little wooden beads and I got these off of Amazon and Amazon um there's like 30 millimeter, there's all sorts of sizes. So um, this one is just gonna be um, all the same size, but just go ahead and go on Amazon and find these. These are really easy to, to find. Um, the next thing I'm gonna use, this is ribbon. Um, and I got this from Joann's and I got it when it was on 70% um, off. And um, I don't know about where you're at, but the, the um, 
the ribbon around uh, us and all the Christmas stuff didn't come at Christmas time. So now they're um, putting it all 70% off and it's super nice for us crafters to be able to get the discounts. But um, anyway, so if you're at uh, Joann's, it comes in all different colors. I have like a dusty blue, I have cream and all sorts of things. So that's what we're gonna be using for this project. So let's get started. I'm gonna, my vest is getting a little warm. So let me get rid of that for right now. And um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take probably about 12 inches, uh, 18 inches of cording. And this cording, like I said, is pretty durable. And what my trick for this is, go ahead, this is electrical tape, and you're just gonna take a little piece off and I'm just gonna wrap it around the top of it so that I can feed each of these beads without too much grief of um, being able to put it around the end. So I'm gonna start like that. And then I will just go ahead and go around the top of it. And then my second trick on this is go ahead squish it just like that and then I just cut off the top and that just makes it so it's almost you know it's all in there and um, pretty well secured okay then I'm gonna take my beads um, for this one here I did eight beads so let's go and we'll put put that back here so you guys can kind of see where we're off to and I, like I said these are super simple I thought, well, you know what? Let's not do this, something too complicated. Um, here's my first bead that does not, um, doesn't uh, fit. So this is a um, just a jewelry tool, and I'm just gonna push it in there and just make sure that that bead has ample room for the cording to go through. Yep, perfect. And then you can, if you want, to twist the um, the siding here so that it goes in. And let's see if I can make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Or I may have to get a new bead. Yep, I'm not gonna struggle with it that long. Let's just redo this. We'll see if it's a little bit, um, a little bit tighter in there. I think I got it too round. There we go. I'm gonna do it tighter this time. There we go. See how that, that's a lot tighter. Okay, now we're ready. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna string the beads on. And this project, I did eight of them. I did 10 and that was way too big. I put my napkin in and I'm like, ugh, that didn't work. So um, I, for this one and the size of the beads, I did, um, I'm gonna do eight. And this is a really good project if you have um, some leftover from, um, you know, beads from a different project and you just kind of want to use them up. I think this would be a great, one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be a great one to, to be able to use up those little ones. Well, let's make sure that this is, has a lot. And see, I'm just pushing that in there so that just make sure that there's they're not perfectly manufactured. So I'm just making sure that it goes down the, the cording. Yeah, that one's, no, we're gonna pick a new one. I'm not struggling this morning, there we go. So two, four, six, seven, and one more. And then um, what we'll do is you can do, I did on this one here, I did a bow. You can just leave it, um, just tie it in a knot but um, it's up to you what you'd like to do. You're not gonna see that when you put the napkin on there, but I just I just gave it a little extra pizzazz. <laughs> All right, so there we go, simple as that. And I'm just gonna do a granny knot. So tie it once, tie it twice, and then do make it so it's a little stiff. You want it not to be sloppy but um, a little bit stiff. So I'm just gonna do a tiny little ball on this one because we'll see how that works. There we go. 
So I just did a little bow on that one. Okay, so there is our um, foundation. Remember, I always, when you do a project, I always do from the bottom up and make sure that the foundation is always um, either strong or the best um, foundation I can do so that when, when you start embellishing different projects that um, you don't have things that fall over or whatever it is, undo or what whatever your project is. And then if you want to, just to make sure, um, I'm just going to put a tiny dobble of glue right there. And then that's going to make the, uh, the bow not come apart. So we just, you know, when you're doing things for people, um, just keep that in mind that whatever you're doing, just make sure that it stays or, you know, flowers or whatever, it doesn't fall off and things like that. So it's really good. Okay, here we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, ears together. And the ears are from this big, huge roll of Christmas um, ribbon that I got, um, you know, right around Christmas time. I actually, see it's $14.99, sorry it's backwards, but um, I got this for 70% off. And I was like, woohoo, this is awesome. So yes, um, this one here, I'm going to make it my... my um, my little board is usually my guide as far as that goes, so I can keep the consistency of um, the ribbon. So I'm going to cut two pieces. This is wire ribbon, so I really like that the sides are going to be structured, and so you just need two pieces. So put that away, and so how I did this these are the little ears and they kind of, you know, have a little bit of a, a roundedness on the top. And all I did was I just took the tops of each of these and I put a little, little tiny piece, little daub there. And I'm just going to put one on top of the other. So just like that. You see where there's the, the back of there? And all I'm going to do is just have it like that. Okay, so let's do that with both of these. And you know what, I didn't, I wasn't really super worried about, oh, is the pattern gonna match each other? If you want to do that, you're totally welcome to, to be able to do that. But I was just like, you know what, I, I, I'm not, a, if I was a perfectionist in that way, I would probably never get anything done. So I just was like, nope, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. And um, just to let you know, my um, heat gun is set on low. So um, this is my Gorilla Glue gun. I love it, got it at um, Walmart. And I think it was like $14.99 or something like that. So um, if you are looking for a good one, that I recommend that one. So we're gonna take it, it looks like that. We don't want it to look too pointy. So I'm gonna flip it over just like that. And then I'm going to gather it up and just put a little tiny piece or a dab of glue on it. So it's going to look like that. Now, if you would like and don't want the raw end sitting like that, you can flip it over so it's like that. It is at your discretion. So, but I actually, I'm going to do it this way because I like the two little creases on the top. So, you're going to turn it inside out. And then go ahead and just, so it's inside out like that. And I'm just going to gather them together and then put them right at the top with glue. And if you need to, you can trim off if there's any excess um, pieces of the ribbon that have come out, you know, see how they, they have these little um, strings, the spider webs from the glue. So make sure that those are out of the way. Okay, so there we go. We've got two ears. All right, so now what we're going to do is I, I like a little bit of dimension in there just to give it an extra layer of embellishment. And I'm going to use the same jute that we were using before. And what I did here is I made sure that when I put this down that it didn't do that where it kind of just flops around. Make sure that you're on a natural curve of the, um, 
of the jute. Go ahead and just snip it off where you think that's where it's gonna be. And then I'm just gonna glue two little spots right there. Right there and there. So that's my starting point. I'm gonna put those two down. And if you need to, um, but this is on low, which is nice. You can use a skewer or any type of popsicle stick or whatever to hold on to it because inevitably I always burn myself. And I'm going to decide where I'd like this. You could actually, you know, put it down a lot farther. It's, it's up to you what you would like to do. So I'm just going to put it where I think. I think that's going to be good. All right. Now, to be able to make sure that this stays up there, I'm just going to put a little, little bit of glue and then just hold it top. So take the end of your skewer or your whatever you're going to use and make sure that it's, it is um, pulled as tight as you would like it. Now, I did because it might go rogue on each side. I'm going to put just a little daub on each side and then hold those down. There we go. See? And there you have it. It's almost ready. Okay, let's do the second one. I know, tell me where you're watching from. Let me know if, is this your first time? If it's your first time, type in newbie and where you're watching from. I love it and it doesn't mean that you need to, to um, comment on the live. If you're watching this on the replay, you're welcome to um, let me know where you're watching from. I love to be able to um, connect with whoever's on here and, and any suggestions and things like that. This is, this is a crafting journey for me and I do love to be able to um, collaborate on ideas and things like that. So do let me know where you're, you're watching from and, and um, let me also know if, if you're on live Give me a little heart or a thumbs up. Then I know that, that people are, are out there. I do want to make sure that they're kind of the same here. So I don't want to... There. And you don't want... What you wouldn't want is one really super, you know, straight and um, taut. And the other one is kind of limp and, and um, kind of saggy. We don't, want, we, don't, we don't want saggy ears. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna do both sides here because I kind of want them to make sure that they stay, the integrity of the, the jute stays where it needs to be. I'm gonna use this to be able to make sure that it stays there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do before I start putting it together, I need to make sure that it's not, doesn't have anything that's hanging off on the sides. So let's clean it up. Let's do this one. There we go. So we're going to clean it up and make sure it's okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to be putting together the, um, the little bow. So the bow is, I, I love this, this, um, this fabric, I it, I don't even know. I mean, it's not really even a ribbon, so it's only you know it is ribbon, but it has um, crushed velvet on the top of it, so um, it's not necessarily a double sided. So um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be using it for big huge bows or things like that. Um, but this is how I made the little bow here. I'm just going to cut off a piece. It's about two inches long, and I want it straight across the the ribbon. And then this one here, I just am gonna make, I almost like, it almost looks like a piece of pasta or something like that. But when I glue this, I only wanna glue the outsides because if I glue the inside and I get a big glob, it's not gonna um, fold up as easy. So I wanna make sure that I just do a little dot on each of the sides here. And then I'm just gonna roll it, put the, the, the ends, on end here. I got so much glue here. There we go. 
so this is what it looks like. So I want to make sure that the um, seam here in the middle is um, not um, full of glue and it's gonna get hard and it's gonna get stuck and that kind of thing. We wanna make sure that we can actually just crinkle it up and I'm just gonna hold it there. We're just gonna squish it together just like that and kind of do like a little zigzaggy and that's how it's gonna go, okay? So let's get a piece of, of twine here. Now this, um, this is one of those where I, I did do a little bit of in the back kind of wrapping it around so it doesn't look too raw as far as that goes. So um, what I did here is I'm gonna use a couple pieces of this and then then just kind of fill it in afterwards. So how you do the, the uh, ears, you're gonna to go together like that, just like that. So I just kind of accordioned it together. And then right where I had that glued, I'm gonna do that, okay? And I'm gonna do it to both of them. And I, and you know, it is one looks like it's a little bit shorter than the other, but I'm okay with that. I think, you know, I don't think God made everybody's um, ears and, and eyes and everything exactly the same. So, um, but that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put them together and then I'm going to take the jute and we're going to hold on to the top here and I'm just going to wrap it around the jute. You don't want to wrap it too hard or too, too firm because you want it to just nicely go around and be able to lay on the back side of those, um, of those beads. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and wrap it. And then I want to um, just put a knot in the front of it. So I'm trying to think about how, okay, how can I show you guys, but there we go. We'll do it this way. Because I wanna make sure that you're, you're able to see what I'm up to. Oh, let's make sure it stays on. Let's try this again. I wanna make sure that it's not gonna fall apart. Put it down together and then I will trim off there's all these little flyaways but I want to make sure that that um, it's covered there we go turn it around to the back and I'm going to just do a little knot I just want to make sure that it's going to stay Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I want to make sure, oh, we have a runaway jute, hold on. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that it's not too um, spritzy down there. I'm just gonna trim it off and just make sure you don't get your, uh, get your jute. So if you wanted to, you could put glue there or whatever, but I think that this right now and even, oh, wouldn't that be cute? Just, you know, so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so now we'll take a little bit off on that and I'm gonna do a double knot to make sure that it stays. We don't want a tragedy in the middle of our, our Easter place, uh, the tablescape. So that's what we're looking like. And then I'm gonna take, and we'll do the jute as well on the bow, so go ahead and we're just gonna scrunch this up a little bit. And then same, I'm gonna wrap it around. And then I'm gonna just fix it a little bit just to make sure I want, um, I don't want it scrunched too tiny. There we go. So, and this will just kind of be a trial and error. You just have to kind of look at it and say, oh, do I want it two, three times around? It's, it's up to you what you'd like to do. So oh, I'm gonna look and see. I'm kind of indecisive today, it looks like. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's two ways that you could do this. You could just cut this off or you could, um, you could, like I did, use the little tassels there. I think that's really cool. Good morning, Amy. It's good to see you're watching. How are you doing? I think it's one of those mornings where uh, the sun is out. I'm so excited. Um, 
it has been so, so, uh, there's been gray days and, and it's still, I still have snow on the ground. Thank goodness it's leaving, but I am ready for some spring, oops, springtime fun. So there we go. And then all I did to, to, um, fray it is I just twisted it back and then, then you can just move it around a little bit to what you want to do. So just kind of give it another little dimension. And I can move it just like that. Isn't that cute? I love it. I could see this for a baby. Oh, wouldn't it be fun? Little little nursery or little, you know, um, putting these on uh, either some type of garland or something like that. I think that would be awesome. So, okay, here we go. We're ready. So what I did here is I put the, um, the, there we go. I put it on the back side and I don't want to go down too far because you don't want that to show. I just put it right on the back of those two beads. And that's why I say you can, um, you know, when you, when you're doing the, the jute around it, you can do a ton or you can do a little, but just, I'm, I actually, it looks like I'm going to redo mine because I want less. I'm going to do that today. See, I told you I'm so indecisive today. It's one of those. But that's what the, the cool thing about crafting is when you do this, it is your own personal um, way how you like to do things. And I think today is, is one of those days where I'm like, you know what? <laughs> let's just let's just do it again. And that's the cool thing about um, doing this with y'all. It's it's uncut. It's not perfect. And um, that's the way I like it. I am I am not a perfectionist by any means, and um, so I'm okay if we do this a few times over. And and it's one of those. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now it's a little bit. I think I'll do that the next time I make it as well. So I didn't put as many rounds um, of jute around the the um, the ears. See how I did only a couple. Okay. So let's try this. Let's go ahead and do this again. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put a double glue here. I wanna make sure that it stays on. So I'm gonna put quite a little bit and make sure that you're right in the middle. I Like I said, there's eight beads on here and I'm just gonna set it down. And then I've gotta wait for a second to let it cure up because it's gonna stick to my uh, board. And I just, I don't want so much um, of the the um, glue to come out. I just wanna, yep, there it goes. So this is what it looks like. And so I am going to clean up the um, the edges here. And yeah, see, it, did, it ended up on there, that's okay. So I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna wrap the cording around it so that it gives it a little bit more of a finished look so that when you know your guests see see this they're not looking at it going oh oh there's a mess back there <laughs> so go ahead and just trim it off and then i'm just going to put a little bit of glue underneath I'm just going to put a little bit of glue underneath the the jute and then i'm going to take my my um whatever you're going to use to push it down there we go and see how it just gives it a little bit more of a finished finished look so let's make sure that it sticks and stays that's what I love about the um, the lower temperature on the glue guns you can it you can touch it a little bit a little bit more um, I, I say liberally there we go okay so there we go we're ready to put the bow on. How cute is that? All right. So I, you could, you could just put it right on the top here. Um, but I actually did a little bit off to the side. I did a little bit of a kitty, kitty wampus so that some of the jute um, was showing on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and just put a, a glob there. 
And this one you will have to wait for a few. I, I wouldn't want to pick it up and move it around just because it's one of those where you just, yeah. Well, good morning, Christine. I'm so glad that you're watching. It's awesome. Awesome to see you guys. It's so fun. Go ahead and just um, let me know where you're watching from. And if this is the live version, let me know. Um, if not, if, if you're watching it on the replay, um, I do always go back and look at the comments and things like that for my other videos. Um, and also I do, I was going to let you guys know, I do have a YouTube channel now. It's Jane Nicole Designs and I'm putting um, lives there so that you can watch marathons of different crafting things. So um, in the description, I put what materials you're going to be using so you can go and get the materials and then go ahead and, and craft with me. So I love it. It's just one more way to share the joy of crafting. Okay, so here it is. Isn't that super cute? Now, we're gonna go ahead and put our little napkin. Napkin in there. And I, you know, you could lay it down like that, but I don't want to. I'm gonna make sure that my, my ears are sticking up. So isn't that super, super cute? I love it. Okay, so there's the other one. Let me get another napkin and we'll put that off to the, the side here and you know what if you know how to do napkins i don't i don't i i got these from a friend i don't usually do um uh fabric napkins i'm always more of the okay let's just use the uh the uh paper ones but isn't that super cute i can't wait to put it on my tablescape so we'll be building my tablescape so hopefully by um uh, Easter, we'll see how all this goes. Okay, so that's the first one. We're gonna put that off to the side. Let's make sure we have room. And then this is the second one that we're gonna do. And this here, I was, I love it. It's, this is, in, if you don't know, this is my little carrot. This is my rendition of a kind of the boho um, carrot. And um, I'll show you how to make this one. So this one here has a little, um, more of a cording for the the ring and then um this is uh, raffia and then this right here is recycled bow from stuff i just picked up um from either i got a, a flower arrangement or something and i always have to show you this this is my little bit of everything um odds and ends uh container and um if you're a lowe's fan uh, this is what you get all of your, uh, the um, nails and things like that. My husband, we've been doing some DIY projects and he's like, oh, I need lots of nails. I'm like, ooh, perfect, I can use this. So I recommend if you're, you know, you need something like this, this is, it's free as far as, you know, you don't have to go buy it for this, you know, but um, that's where I got this. And they, they close really well and they stack awesome so I have all sorts of little projects and scraps and things like that in it so that is my my um my Lowe's tip for the day okay so I'm gonna use uh for this project this is floral wire I got it at um, Michael's I believe in their floral wedding section so that's a, a definite um must and I've had that for a while it's really nice it, it goes a long way I believe there's it, this is 22 gauge and it's 150 feet. So you'll have a lot of a lot of projects to be able to do that with. And then this here is the ribbon that I'm going to use. And um, I got this off of a bag of candy. Um, I think it was like um, like watermelon candy or something like that. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep that. You know me, I'm one of those where I have to, you know, see what I can do with it later. So. Um, and then this right here, I got this ribbon and um, I used it for a project and then I just had a little bit left in my in my little stash here. And so um, we're gonna use that for uh, the little bow. So my, my, my tip for you is um, this, because it is, it was bowed and um, into a little ribbon and things like that, it doesn't, you know, it's got wrinklies in it. So. Um, this is my suggestion for you. This is my daughter's straightener. Thank you, Abby. And go ahead and just clamp it down. And that is how you can get all those wrinklies out of your ribbon. That's satin. This is satin ribbon. Um, and it's on the lowest setting. 
But now I don't have to worry about, sometimes if I don't do this, I, I cut and do um, my bows in between the scrunchies of my used ones. And um, so that's what I recommend. If you have some projects and things like that, that you get some of your older um, ribbon and whatnot, and you're like, ah, that is a perfect way how to do it. So just a side note. All right, so how I did this is I'm going to take my rib, uh, my wire and I'm gonna actually do it quite long because I, you know what, wire, it's one of those. You can, um, you can use it, um, you know, all sorts of projects. It's not just floral. And um, this one here, I'm not really worried about how much, but um, you know, how much I'm gonna be using. I'll just snip it off. It's, it's you know, like I said, it's a dime a dozen. There's a ton around. So um, this right here is about, I would say 18 to 20 inches long. And so I need to make sure right here, this is the bottom. I'm gonna use some raffia. This is my raffia. I think I got this at Walmart really, um, really quick. And um, so I'm just gonna take a little piece off here. And I don't know about you, but I just I just start cutting into the raffia bag because it's one of those where I'm like, I don't know, I'm just gonna start and do it. Um, and you know, I think kind of a, a love-hate relationship with raffia because it's, sometimes it's a mess and then sometimes it's, it's super, um, you know, compliant. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that there. We gotta have a little, a little um, bottom here that we're going to make sure that our our um, our beads do not fall off. And so I just took about um, two and a half inches, and I'm just going to put it in the end there. And I'm just going to take the end, and I'm going to roll it back on itself. So see how I know it's kind of hard with the. There we go. See that? Just go ahead and roll it back on itself, and then. I'm gonna take another little piece of raffia. We're just gonna cut a piece. And then just like a tassel, I'm just gonna take a, a knot and knot the end here, making sure that I don't go above the loop, but I just want a little tassel on the bottom here. So go ahead and put a knot on here. There we go. And I'm gonna do a double. Like I said, I don't want my projects to fall apart. Oop, see, that's my, my love-hate relationship with raffia. There we go. Let's try this again. Boy, lots of do-overs today, that's okay. In life, I like do-overs. All right, so I turned the, the um, raffia and I did a double, double strand. So we'll see, yeah, there we go. Now it's happy. I'm just making sure that um, the knot is secured. I don't want this to come apart. There we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim off that little spot there so there's like a little spritzy on it. Pull your, um, your raffia down so that, there we go. And I wanna find out, there's one that looks like it's up, so I'm just gonna trim it. There we go. So, this is what you got. There's a little bit of a little tassel there, and that'll just keep our beads from falling off. <laughs> we don't want our beads to fall off. That would be a tragedy. Okay. So these are other beads I got um, off of Amazon as well. These, sorry, they're noisy, here we go. They are um, actually almost like, um, have a finish on them that are clear. And so I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go from, I have a couple different sizes. I'm gonna go from the little to the large. And um, you can put however many you want. I've seen them where they're super long and whatnot, but for this project, I'm going to um, just put a few on here. Make sure that, there we go. Because the hole is uh, quite a bit larger, um, we will kind of have to, to, I might put some a little bit of glue on there so that it's not, um, 
so that they're not so um, jiggly around there. Let me make sure here. This one has a very large piece of something in it. Let's make sure. Okay. Do I want to stop there? I actually like that, just like that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we got to make the top on there. So I want to make sure that um, my, my raffia has room to, um, to uh, be on the, the, um, the wire there. And so I want to make sure that, here it is, I've got enough. So I'm just going to pull right where the bend is because I think that's it's forgiving. There we go. So we're just going to, you can decide however long you want this to be. Um, it's up to you. I think this project is one of those where I, there's not really any specific dimensions of how, how it is. So, all right. So I'm going to put my, my uh, raffia right in the middle there. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull down. And I want, I want it to be a little bit above. I'm going to turn it over so you can see that. A little bit above there. So, good morning, Judy. It's good to see you're watching. Awesome, you guys. It's so fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Wednesdays are my days. It's one of those where no matter what, I'm like, I am busy on Wednesdays. <laughs> so... Okay, and then you're just gonna pull, pull it a little tighter and then wrap it around like probably five, six times. It's whatever you would like to do. So that's where we're at. Okay, and so we're gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna put it out in front. So there's our, yep, not, we're gonna pull it up. Just like that, I want to make sure that it's pretty flat. You don't you don't want um, more raffia on one side than the other. It looks kind of wonky, but that's what it looks like. And so here's the front and the back. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to double. We're going to make sure it doesn't break. We're going to double raffia, and then I'm going to to just put a knot around the top, just like a tassel and then we'll trim off the excess. That's one thing about raffia, there's so many, uh, so many strands, it's a little, there we go. I just wanna make sure. Okay, I'm gonna do one more knot. There we go. There we go, so that's what it looks like. Now we're going to trim, make sure that um, you don't cut your strands that are supposed to be the top of the carrot. We'll do that. And I think it's fun just to have a little bit of a raw edge on there. So that's what we're going to do. And then we want to, we'll, um, we'll cut this off a little bit, probably about, I'd say probably six inches or so. And then about there to be able to get that little swirly on there. I'm gonna go almost to the end of this. This is a, just a stipple brush. And I'm just gonna twirl all the way. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge there. See where that little piece is? Pull that off. And I'm just gonna take a, a jewelry pliers and I'm gonna turn that under because you don't wanna <clears throat> poke your guests. So there we go. There it is. That is the little piece, and I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit. Maybe I'll move it that way, just to give it that one more little dimension. So see how that is? I love it. Okay, I'm in the in the details here. Okay, so I took, we're gonna take our, our um, piece of ribbon that we had, and I'm just gonna tie a pretty loose, a loose uh, knot and I want to make sure that the, the polka dots are, are um, up front. So we'll do that. So we're just going to do a simple little knot. And we're going to be, um, 
We're going to be gluing on the top of that, so don't worry about how, how tight it is. But just make sure that when it's there, that you can see the polka dots. All right, we're going to do the dovetail, so you're going to fold it in half. And we're going to cut downward so that it dovetails. And let's see, in my example, I'm going to do a little bit shorter on the side because that's what the other one looks like. You kind of want your, your table settings to be alike. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to make the bow. And the bow is really fun. Um, this is just, excuse me, this is just a piece of fabric, just um, gingham that I got. And I've used it several times. And so um, this is just the, the last piece of it. And so I'm going to cut probably, this is about three inches, two and a half, three inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little dab of, a double of glue. And then I'm going to tuck it under and just put it right on that dab of glue. So this is one of those where it's okay that um, the backside is, is, has the glue there because you know what, it, it's, um, I'm just going to, fold it in half like that. So I don't need to worry about if it's going to crinkle or whatever. I, I just want it to be flat. So if that makes sense, I hope, I hope it makes sense. Okay. So we just have a little round right there and, um, I'm going to start on the back and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue there. Just make sure that where that little piece of, or drop of, drop of glue is right in the middle of your, your bow. Put it down there. There you go. And then I'm just going to go right up over the top. And you're seeing the back, the back of it. And then go ahead and put one more little piece of glue there. Make sure that your bows are the same. I just want to make sure I'm going to, and I'm just going to flip it over and push down. go side to side making sure that's the same and then we're just gonna cut off the back there we go I think these I you know I think I these ones these scissors may go in the trash or I have got to figure out how to um, you guys know how to sharpen them okay so there's our little bow Oop, let's get that off there all right and we are just gonna set that right on the top I'm going to put glue so that it makes sure that it stays there. Make sure that each side is the same. And we're just going to let that sit for just a few. So there we go. Awesome. I'm so excited. It looks awesome. You know how you have something in your mind and you're like, hmm, I wonder how this is going to end. Um, yeah, that's how it's going to end. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is make the ring here and the ring. Um, I'll show you this. I got this at the dollar store and the dollar store, um, you know, sometimes they have different colors and whatnot, but I just found this and, um, I have an extra one here. And, um, the cool thing is, is that this is, is one of those where you can just go ahead and put a little bit of daub of glue on here. This is how, um, I did it. The, the last time and hold it with your fingers just so that um you can blow on if you want cool it off but that will keep the integrity of the rope it was kind of hard i was trying to decide hey good morning renee i was trying to decide how this was gonna go um you know and not have the the uh cording um fall apart and that's that's what i came up with so I'm going to go, I want to do it about the same as the other one. So I'm going to, I think it's about, this is about um, four inches long. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut, go ahead. It might take a little bit, but I want it to be as, as flat as I can. And then go ahead and keep that as tight as you can and then roll the glue around in it see how that is and then i'm in it on the other side because i want to warm up my glue on this side then we're going to just 
put it together. So I have to sit for a second. <laughs> you know me, I'm the McDonald's. I want it here and done now and ready to go. So let's make sure that this stays. And you, what you don't want to do is stick your fingers in it and then get glue all over the place. So we're going to make sure that this is not completely, but pretty well cooled down. I'm going to set it like that to make sure that it stays. Okay. And to make sure that you don't see this kind of this raw edge here, it's okay, but not, not the best. Um, I'm going to start, I'm just going to put a little bit of you on this side and then um, I'll roll it around. I don't want it too tight, but enough to make sure that all that part is, um, is covered up. So like I said, I'm gonna start on the end here and then I'm just gonna start winding it around. And because that glue is still a little bit um, hot, it will kind of mold to the, uh, the jute and then keep it, um, keep it right there. Then once the, the jute is on the top of the rope, then you can start squishing it together and um, putting it where you'd like to. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there. And then I'm gonna just snip off the end. There we go. I do wanna make sure that that end stays down, so I'll put a tiny bit of glue there and just press my hand, my finger on it. And so there you go. Isn't that cool? Now it, the integrity is, is okay. Right there. So it's awesome. Okay, let's put this one together. All right, so I decided for this one, if you see on the example, I put the ring right behind where the bow and the little um, wire is, just because you wanna be able to move these beads around. And um, it's kinda, yeah, the interactive part, that's okay. All right, so everything is squished down. And I'm gonna put it just right on the top, right there. And so I wanna make sure that the glue doesn't end up all over the, the, the um, wire or the rope here. So I'm gonna push down and hang out for a second. <laughs> there we go. So let me know, should I keep going? I have my other project of the, the bunny and I, I, I don't want to not do it. So if you guys are okay hanging out with me, I'm going to take probably about a few more minutes and I'm going to finish up the, the cute little bunny. So if you want to hang out with me, that's awesome. I would love it. So we're going to let that hang out for a second and I'll show you it when it's, it's completely um, dry there or um, cured, but let's move on. I love this. So um, my, my sister Renee is, totally loving bunnies. She's, since the time we were little, we've had a couple bunnies at our house and um, it's one of those, she had one whose name was Floppy and it had big um, gray ears and stuff like that. And so when I saw this project, I totally thought of her and I was like, okay, we're gonna do the bunny thing. So this is what I did. This is chipboard. So it's, it's kind of flimsy, but it, it's going to be our foundation for our bunny. Um, and this is kind of a, you can put a, you know, water or cup or, or a coffee or whatever on it, just as a little coaster. This would be really cute if you wanted at a hot pad where you had, um, you know, a bowl that had just a small, um, you know, uh, foot on it. And so this would be great. So you can use them in multiple ways. So how I did this, First, we're going to do um, the ear um, backing on it. And what I did is I just took a piece of fabric that I had in my stash. And um, all I'm going to do is just put it down. I'm gonna put um, some glue because we wanna make sure that it stays in the spot. And by the way, I got the pattern off of Cricut Design Space. And um, I did not pay for it. It is in the free section. So go ahead and 
see if you can pick that up today so that you can do this project. And like I said, you don't have to, you could use cardstock if you wanted to. You're welcome to do that as well. Okay, so that's all I did. I just want it to be able to, to stay on there. And I'm going to take and just cut around. We're going to be putting the, um, the uh, uh, macrame cording around it. So you don't have to be super precise. I just wanna make sure that um, it goes over a little bit. You don't want the, the, the um, too much of the card uh, or the chipboard to show. So let's take that off. And like I said, this is one of those crafts. This is awesome craft to do with kids. And, um, you know, or if you are, um, you know, you have some seniors, this is a super, super fun craft to be able to do that. And, um, you know, it's a, a craft that you can just take right away. There's no, um, there's no painting or anything like that. So I think this would be a great Sunday school or something like that. Um, daycare. That's, that would be kind of fun. And I'm going to actually just, this has a little bit of a, a, a lip on it and I'm going to pull that over. I just, I want that to be down as, as helps with the integrity because there's a hole in it and I just, yeah, we'll put that on there. So let me know if this would be a craft that you are up for. Is Easter one of your holidays to decorate for? What kind of decorations do you use? Um, this year, I, it looks like I'm doing the spring theme here. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit on the the um, edge here, but I don't want to go down um, this far. So there we go. That's, that is it. That is how we do it. Okay, so always keep your scraps. I always say that, but this one, I, that's what I did. I had a couple of yards of fabric. I made a project and that was the ending of it. I'm like, absolutely perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, um, let's see, put the cording on it. And the cording, there we go, I found it. <laughs> this is just a big, huge macrame. Um, I, I got this off of um, Amazon. And um, I've been making like the little macrame um, ornaments and things like that. I've used it quite a bit. And so it does go a long way. So just like we did with the uh, napkin rings, I want to make sure that this little piece right here does not fray. So I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to put a little glue on it. And this is how I, I found that it was the best to do. Go ahead and just take your project and put it right down. I'm going to put as close as I can to the middle. And then I'm going to twist it and push down. So now I can start and you're going to take the cording. I hope you can see this. Let's move it up here. Um, I'm going to twist the cording like this as I go because I don't want my cording to unravel. And then I will move it a little bit. And then we're just gonna start going with the glue around. And it, I didn't do every little spot with glue, um, but just wrap it around on itself. Um, you can, if you need to, if you got a hot glue gun, go ahead and do um, a, uh, skewer or something like that but just see how easy that is we're just going to do some twirling and then we're going to keep going so this is one of those projects where um i think it takes around i, I measured it i think it takes about two feet two and a half feet of cording so and you will have um the little spider webs of your glue gun. Um, I, you know, you can put in the comments, suggest what would be a good glue. I've also thought maybe um, uh, Gorilla Glue would work as well. Um, but I, I think that this is working just as, just as well. 
And so what I'm doing is I'm putting the glue on a little bit farther and I'm just rolling the glue or rolling the, um, the rope and then the glue kind of into it so that it, um, it sets up right against the, the uh, rope and then doesn't squeeze and, and seep out. But I could totally see this um, for, if, even if you were to do other shapes and nautical would be really fun to do some type of a, a ship's wheel or something like that. And then um, I think that would be awesome. Okay, so I also, just to let you know, this is a uh, oblong, it's not a perfect circle. So I am going to have a little bit off the side here. So when I get around the corner and I start to um, see where where this is going, I might have to have a little bit of a, um, an edge hang off just like this one here. So just to let you know, that may be it unless you can find a bunny or an object that is completely round. And I could totally see if you wanted to do um, not use fabric, you could use um, some cardstock on the ears and um, put the cording around there or you could do a different ribbon. Uh, the sky's the limit on this one. I like that. I, I like I like the sky's the limit. <laughs> and I think this will be fun for um, even if you do Easter gifts or springtime gifts. I know there's a lot of stuff that's going on for springtime because everybody's, I think this year, everybody's hoping that the, the snow will go away. And I was quite disappointed when I heard about the, the groundhog not wanting to be around and uh, going back in for for a few more weeks of winter. There we go. Okay, so it looks like I got about one more time to go around and I may also just trim off, yeah, I may just trim off the, the little spots right here of the um, chipboard because I, I, you know, I don't want the sides to go off, but the bottom I think is okay to do that. Well, almost. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop with the, um, the cording right there. And then um, there's several ways you can do this. This one I did just one all the way up and around. Um, this one here, you can't really tell. Um, this one here, I um, cut each piece and then I put the last um, cording over it. So if we want to do that, let's, let's try that for right now. But I want to make sure that when I go over with the cording, I have a little bit of a tail. So let's cut that part off. There we go. So it's going to go over that way, but I'm going to leave that off to the side. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my, my macrame cording, and I'm just going to figure out how long I need it. And then I will just, there we go. So I'm going to get two of those. Let's just do it all in one swoop. There we go. So go ahead and start your glue on right at the base. We're going to twist it a little bit to make sure that it sticks in the glue. There we go. And then do leave a little bit of room when you um, do that so that you have your um, the end of your rope so that you can put over the cording and not have it too bulky. There we go. So I'm going to trim that a little bit. So roll and make sure that it stays on the end. Oops. I'm a lefty, but I have righty scissors. There we go. So there you go. I have lots of glue on my fingers today. Let's pick that off. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then the last one. Just go ahead and tuck that right down in there. 
make sure that, um, like I said, that you have a little bit of room. I'm gonna go up halfway, make sure that where it's where we want it to be. Go for the second side and then trim that spot. Okay, I think that's good. All right, push that down. Make sure that you have all of your, your edges are in the right spot. Yep, pick it up. Make sure that, um, and you can always trim off the sides on that part. So, and then we're gonna go just right over the top. And then it just finishes off those edges and make sure that you don't have anything that's sticking out. There we go. And then I'm just gonna trim this one off. And then just like we did the other one, we're gonna put a little bit of glue on it. And then I'm gonna roll it. There we go. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. And make sure you get all your little glue things off. I also, um, when I have projects, I have a lot of glue on them. I actually take um, a hair dryer, and um, if you put it on the high setting and you shoot this with um, the hair hair dryer, then it will take off all those little spider webs. So all my floral projects and things like that, Reese, whatever I use it, if I have a bunch of glue, um, I will just take that off by the hair dryer. Okay, so we're just gonna take our scissors, go around there. There's a little bit peeking out here. I want to make sure that that's gone. Okay, so there we go. That's, it's ready. So, um, I have a couple guy bunnies here. They're, they're ready, but I need another little girl bunny. So, what I did with that is a lot of the times I take flowers um, from the stems when they're either at the dollar store or Michael's and, you know, you've got, um, you know, clearance and things like that. I just start ripping them apart and, um, if I want to, I'll keep a couple of the sprigs that are all together and then I can use them in. But I use these a lot for scrapbooking. I use them for um, the the um, the bag books that I do, out of scrapbooks out of paper bags. And they're just a really fun little embellishment. Um, and stickers are expensive. I went to the other day and I thought, oh, I'll just get a couple little stickers. And they're like $4.99. And I was just like, nah, I don't want to pay that much right now for that. So. Um, I just went ahead and I'm going to get a little bit of, uh, the flowers. And then I just, like I said, I just start ripping them apart. I put them in little plastic bags and then when I'm ready for a project, they're ready to go. So that is an awesome idea. If you, if you need, um, if you need, you know, just little embellishments that are not, um, super expensive. So I'm going to put five little flowers on here. And I'm already going to put the glue on because I want to space them out so I can see them. And I'm going to do every other one with the white. And then these are just kind of a cream with a, or a, a yellow with a little bit of like peach in them. So go ahead and do that. You can put those on there. And then the cool, fun thing, where did I put them? I had in my stash here, where'd it go? Um, what you can do is you can do little beads if you would like. That's what I'm looking around for. Did I find them? Nope. It was one of those morning, oh, here it is. See, it's always under something. That is, that is my motto of scrapbooking. It's always, or crafting, it's always under something. Um, these are little gems and they already have the glue on them so we don't have to worry about that um, but me I'm one of those I want to make sure that my project stays together so I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of glue down on each of these little flowers and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick little gems and I'm just gonna rest them in there I think I want all orange. Yeah, I think that's what I did in my other project. But you could put anything in here. You could do um, little beads or you can double layer flowers. 
But isn't that so fun? Now you can have a little matching, a little matching pair of his and hers bunnies. Isn't that cool? So, okay, this is my project. I finally finished it. It's been a couple weeks that I said I'm going to do it. So thank you for watching me do that. But let's go ahead and we're going to put together um, our napkins here and I will show you the finished product. All right, so here's a, our carrot. There we go. So isn't that cool? I will um, put it together a, a place setting, I'm sure, and I will put it in the comments what our tablescape is starting to look like. So there's that. So we have a couple carrots. This is kind of the boho carrot look. And then we have our beautiful little bunnies that we put our, our um, wooden beads and then our little ears. There we go. There. And now we have our drink holders. So we'll be able to start our tablescape. I will let you know um, next Wednesday what uh, we're going to be doing for the rest of our tablescape, or I might even just pick another, I don't know yet. <laughs> it's kind of one of those. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you want to, you are welcome to follow me on Facebook and um, Instagram at Jane Nicole Designs. And I also have an Etsy store that some of this stuff is in. And I also um, have uh, some new t-shirts and sweatshirts that are up ready to go. And um, I'd love to have you come and hang out and, and um, follow me. That would be great. So like, share, comment. Still after the live is going, I always go ahead and make sure that I, I keep up on my videos and the comments and stuff like that. But I would love it if you guys would have a wonderful day and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.